so I've got a talent link update for you. Four hours after I signed up for Talent Link, I received a C-mail from a manager interested in discussing representation, and I thought, impressive. Four hours? Okay. I have to admit, while I was willing to try Talent Link, I wasn't sure if I would receive interest from a reputable office. And I'm still deciding if Talent Link is the right move because I can't say with certainty whether the manager who contacted me is credible. <laughs> However, I did learn three things that I'm going to share with you. Three tips that you can take when you have representation meetings. One of them is how to suss out credibility from an agent or manager's correspondence. The second is finding the red flags while researching representatives. And the third is deciding on whether I should ghost them or should I send them an email to decline. And as a bonus, I'm gonna share the manager's response to my decline email. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this is part two of my Talent Link agent experience. And if you missed the first part, be sure to go back and watch it to get context on this video. And I have a link above for you to go there, to take you there. <laughs> Acting lessons learned. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Tawana Floyd. Now, before I launch into the topic du jour, I have to press preface that I was disappointed to receive interest from a manager because I'm not looking for a manager. And I think it's a flaw in a talent link platform that it doesn't allow you to distinguish theatrical agent only, making it a waste of time for the representative who reached out to me. And it gave me a false sense of excitement because I was like, yay, oh, it's a manager. If you're curious why I am choosing not to work with a manager, it's simple. I just don't want to pay 10 to 25% commission of my commercial earnings to a manager. Because for the past 11 years, I've earned a living from booking commercials, thanks to great agents who know what they're doing. So I don't really need assistance with a manager in commercials. And quite frankly, most of the time, managers don't have the expertise to increase opportunities in commercials. Now that's not all managers, but there's a great deal of them that don't know. And by the way, don't let my preface discourage you from deciding on whether or not you want a manager. Just make sure that you find a great person that you can trust to collaborate with. Okay, so I went off on a tangent there. So let's get, let's talk about this manager's C-mail. Now I'm gonna call him Bob from Bob Management. Hi Tawana, Bob from Bob Management. Your materials are great. Would love to chat with you to talk about theatrical representation. We are a Los Angeles-based boutique management co with a 17-year history in casting. Please feel free to reach out and we can discuss this. Thanks and best, Bob at Bob Management. So in improv, when we're performing on stage, we are trained to look for the game of the scene. And the way that you look for the game in the scene is the first odd thing that's said or done. So I'm going to use the game in the scene to find clues of credibility in this correspondence. And let's see if you have the same questions as me from that letter. They wrote, we are a Los Angeles based boutique management company with a 17 year history in casting. 17 years. Now my brain has questions because if they spent 17 years in casting, how long have they been managing talent? Like, are they new to managing talent? Do they know how to manage talent? Do they know what they're doing? And then I'm like, okay, so what have they cast in those 17 years? So all of these questions led me to visit their IMDb Pro account to learn more about them and see what these 17 years come to. And I found four red flags. They stated, we are a Los Angeles based boutique management company, implying they were a group or a team of managers. However, the IMDb page, their page only had one person listed as an employee and that was Bob. A little misleading, but I'd allow it. Now, Bob's photo <laughs> was a medium shot of him with a black backdrop with smoke from him as he's on a microphone, like he's in concert. And there were two other images of him posted on a stage at the Ice House, which is a comedy space here in Los Angeles. Okay, so he does stand up. And then there was one other picture of him with an assault rifle, maybe possibly from a film he acted in. Now I'd say maybe he was about 35, I give him 40. So that means that maybe he was like 23 when he started casting 17 years ago. Okay, let's look at the credits. 
So I look at the credits and there's no 17 years. There's actually 10 credits for mastering, for translation, and for acting. So Bob is trying to allude that he's more prominent than he was. Then I looked at his, his roster and there were all character actors, which is fine, but there was not one black person on his roster, which is plot problematic for me and problematic in this day and age, because why don't you have any black people on your roster, Bob? And then to find the game of his roster, he had six Luca Doris. Is it Lucha Doris, Luca Doris? There were six of them. So I don't know what Bob has going on over there. Not to say that they don't need representation, but I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. This is only my first week or my first day with Talent Link and I still have 14 days to go. And as I said, I didn't want a manager, but I can say that even if I did and I saw this profile, I would have to pass because of the red flags. You know, there were just too many variables out of alignment with who he was saying he was in his short C-mail. And I'd have to deduce that if he's lying now, his lying is just going to get worse. Now, I was just going to ignore Bob's correspondence, but then I was reminded, you know, Tawana, you actually appreciate when people respond back to you, even if they just say no, you actually like that. So I sent him an email. So here's my letter. Dear Bob, thank you for the kind message about representation at this time. I am solely interested in theatrical agents. Cheers. Here's Bob's response. Now see if you can catch the red flags. Hi Tawana, no worries and good to hear from you. To clarify, we are a management co, but function as an agency with full accreditation and full access to the breakdowns, submissions, and CDs. If you meet with agencies and you still haven't found what you're looking for, please feel free to reach out. We would love the chance to represent and submit you to big castings. As mentioned before, we are very picky about who we work with and your materials are remarkable and very strong. Our roster does not exceed 25 people, so we are extremely focused, strategic, and passionate about how we push and pitch talent. If we are not the right fit for you, we will be cheering you from the sidelines. You have tons to offer and that is clear from your materials. If at any point you want to chat with us, we will always be open to you. Thanks and best, Bob. Yeah, I'm going to have to deduce that Bob is a full-fledged liar <laughs> and not the type of manager that any actor should, should consider. Definitely not somebody that I would want to represent me. And keep in mind, I know that everybody in Hollywood lies, but there's a fine line between finessed smoke and mirrors and tacky smarmy BS. And I'd say Bob was the latter. So this was my first contact from Talent Link. And so we're going to see what else comes up from this. And I'm going to keep you updated <laughs> with new videos as more comes in. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping that you're finding this content helpful. And if you are, won't you please like this video? Let me know that you're liking what I'm, the, the stories that I'm offering. Um, if you're interested in hearing more personalized stories of my experience as a working actor in Los Angeles, you can check out Acting Lessons Learned, the podcast on all podcast platforms. I'll see you later. Well, you'll see me later. Okay, bye. <laughs>